Welcome back in, everybody. Again, my name is Corey Schwinke, and I'm here in the Sandvik Coromont Productivity Center here in Schaumburg, Illinois. Uh, now, the last segment I covered what the Core Mill Dura offer entails as far as diameters and corner options, as well as what benefits you'll see at the spindle. Uh, but now the fun part. Let's make some chips. So first, we're going to be cutting some 4140 steel uh, with the Core Mill Dura Whisper Cut Gen 2 4 flute. Uh, we'll be using a 3 8 inch diameter, 30 thou radius, and an inch length of cut. So let's go to the machine. All right, now again, this is 4140 steel, and what we're gonna see first is a 90 degree plunge. Yes, that's right. We're going to be drilling with this end mill. Now speeds and feeds here, we're running at 400 surface feet per minute and 5 tenths per tooth. So to open up this pocket, we're going to be using power milling, or what we like to call heavy duty milling. So that's where we're going to slow down our cutting data, but we're going to increase our radial engagement. So we're running at 400 surface feet per minute, 2 thou per tooth, but we've increased that radial engagement to 60%. So we're really taking off a lot of material in each pass. Now again, this is the Whisper Cup 4 flute. As we've seen from the operations we've already carried out, it's an extremely rigid tool. So it can be applied in heavy roughing, light roughing, slotting up to two times D, pocketing, plunging, which we've already seen, and ramping, which we'll see in the next operation. Also a reminder that these are available in square shoulder, uh, ball nose options, and radius options from 15 thou up to 250 thou. Uh, different lengths of cut, different diameters from an eighth of an inch up to an inch. And if you can't find what you're looking for in the standard offer, we can always use our customized solutions, our advanced engineers, and make the tool that you need for your application. And I'm sure you've noticed we're running dry. And we're also running with air blast on. So these tools are called whisper cut for a reason. Uh, the reduction in noise is just one of the results of that whisper cut technology. Uh, so even though we're removing such a large percentage of material per pass, that surface finish looks pretty phenomenal, right? So, And we're shooting with a 4K camera, so your picture should be pretty clear. All right, so that was a 90 degree plunge into power milling with 60% radial engagement. So as soon as we get our camera focus, we'll move on to the next. All right, on to the next operation. So we've all seen ramping into the part, right? So we're used to two, three degrees, 10 degrees, 15, sometimes maybe even 20. But here, we're gonna see a 45 degree ramp into the material. Now for the ramping, we're running 250 surface feet per minute, 1,005 tenths per tooth. Now to open up this pocket, we're going to be doing some dynamic milling or high feed side milling. So we're going to ramp up that cutting data. We're going to go 550 surface feet per minute, 2,008 tenths per tooth. We're going to be at a 20% radial engagement to open this pocket up. And I don't believe I've mentioned this today, but all the features that you'll see machined today will be a half inch axial depth of cut. So your vertical depth is going to be at a half an inch. Now out of all of the strategies that I named before, we've already seen plunging, we've seen power milling, which is your heavy roughing, we've seen dynamic, which is your light roughing, we've seen ramping, we're even going to see some finishing at the end of this demo. And don't worry, full slotting will come later. So that really speaks to this tool's stability, its rigidity, and its versatility. Uh, any type of application that you want to try to throw this into, I recommend it.
Now for the finishing passes, we're just going to keep that same cutting data, 550 surface feet per minute, 2 thou, 8 tenths per tooth, and we're only taking off 15 thou material. Thanks for joining me. Make sure to stay tuned as later we'll actually be machining some titanium using our 5 and 7 flute whisper cut Gen 2 end mills. We'll see you soon.